Hi, it's John. Now, I think the first time I ever heard the expression, if you want something done, ask a busy person, was when I was at college. And I thought, what a weird expression. You know, because I, I was pretty naive. I thought, well, if you want something, something done, ask someone who's not busy, because they've got time on their hands. No. If you want something done, ask a busy person. And of course, it's true, isn't it? Because, um... You've got to ask a busy person because the chances are someone who's not busy all the time, you know, they're, they're, they're the sort of person who doesn't do anything. They just sort of sit and cogitate. Um, and, and I mean, I find that. I find quite a temptation to just sit and cogitate and, and, um, and not get on with my chores. Now, I did a video a long time ago, about two or three years ago, about itemising all the tasks that you've got to get done and then making a jobs list and then ticking them off you know because sometimes we feel a bit overwhelmed by the amount of things that need doing and um, I think that's a pretty good way actually but the problem is now I mean it was all right at college about asking a busy person if you wanted something done because there were plenty of people around. You were mixing with a lot of people, like sort of a monastery in a way, you know, all these people. But once you get into a village, people are behind their doors. And they've got their own private existence. And they value their private existence. Um, and they're not going to, generally, they're not going to do anything um, which is going to infringe on their free time. Because their free time is what it's all about. Uh, sort of a sort of hedonism, really. It's sort of pleasure. It's sort of this free time is your pleasure, isn't it? Um, so what you find is that uh, if you want something done, ask for a professional to do it. That's, that's basically it, isn't it? You know, contract somebody to do it for you and pay them properly, pay them their proper ways. And then, it's, yes, Mr. Simpson, no, Mr. Simpson, three bags for Mr. Simpson. When would you like your car back, Mr. Simpson? You know, <laughs> which is the way to do it. And also, the trouble is with those people, those busy people, who would always do something for you if you want something done, ask a busy person, they would suddenly reach a stage and they'd say, Oh, no, I can't do it anymore. They just crack up. You know, I can't do it anymore. I need a rest. I, 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 I can't do it. You know, I've just overloaded myself. I'm exhausted. I've just got to um, stop doing anything for anybody for about five years. No, about a year. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I mean they're, they're, the busy person, in a way, has got their life out of balance, haven't they? You've got to leave a lead a balanced life. So I think the professional course isn't really a bad one.